Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Well, did you make it through the weekend? If you're watching this, I guess you did. <sighs> so this morning, it was a little bit hard for me to get up. I think I pressed snooze three times. Not too bad. Usually I don't, well, usually I press snooze maybe once, once or twice a week. I press it if needed. But today was a day where I just wanted to stay in bed. I was snuggly warm. It's a little bit chilly here, but still damp. Very, very damp. And dark, as you can see, it's still dark. It is 7.15. The sun is rising. It's a beautiful sunrise today. It is, it looks like it's uh, Sherbert like the gods, the heavens up above, chose orange, red, and purple, sherbet. Anyway, so what did everyone do over the weekend? I hope you guys had a productive weekend. Mine was definitely productive. So I had to come up with a game plan for Rocky Rococo. So he goes to work with my daughter every day. She picks him up. He goes to work with her. He loves it. And then I pick, oh, anyway. And then I pick him up after I'm done with work at my daughter's work. And then I bring him home. So literally he's not left alone at all. Pretty much ever. Well. Wow. I have this thing, it's like a mesh kind of playpen type thing, only it's not a playpen because it's enclosed on the top. It's like octagon shape. Um, I got it off of Amazon. It's really lightweight, but it's like covered all the way through. I got it in a size medium, so it's pretty big for him. You know, like I could probably fit three of him in there easily, no problem. And I've left him in there before, and we've had some issues before, but this one was a doozy. So I did a Walmart pickup, so I knew it was going to be like maybe a half an hour, if that, not a big deal. And I have him in the, in his hut is what I call it, in my room with the door closed and the music playing. So he's enclosed in the hut. And then I have Snooky Louise in the living room with the music playing. So if he barks or anything, she can't hear him because if she hears him, then she's gonna bark. It's like a whole thing. Anyway, so I put him in the hut, said goodbye, turned the music on, left to go do my Walmart pickup. Came back 35 minutes later. He had started on one side of the room. Mind you, I had the vacuum and my bed strategically placed so this thing couldn't go anywhere. Wasn't moving at all, couldn't go anywhere. Well, I came back and the thing was tipped upside down and he was on the other side of the room, inside the thing. So he was like a hamster in a hamster wheel and he was rolling around the room doing God knows what and he pissed in it and because it's mesh, it leaked under my carpet. So I like had a, a spot on my carpet in my room and I'm like, what is that? And I'm thinking, oh, he rolled around in that mesh thing. So I was so pissed. So I was looking online and they had, um, I think the company is called Diggs. I don't know if you guys have ever heard it at all. But Daniel Prada had done a video a while back and he had posted that, you know, he had ordered these dog crates through Diggs and they're super sturdy and they're, um, you know, you can see all the way around, which is something that I wanted. I wanted to be able to like see everything. And um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, anyway, so I was watching Daniel's video and I was like, oh, this, you know, would probably be great for Rocky. It's not going to go anywhere. It's still heavy enough. You know, it's, it's like a heavy duty plastic, right? Well, oh, you guys, the sunset, we have to go. Hold on. It's gorgeous. 
Oh my God, it's beautiful. <gasps> no way. That is breathtaking. Everyone is coming to get pictures. Everyone. <gasps> how gorgeous. Hold on, Look you guys. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my God. How gorgeous is that? How lucky am I to live where I live? You know what I mean? Literally, how lucky. Okay, just had to show you guys that on my way to work. The the um, lake is glazed with the ice, but how beautiful is that? Oh, people are coming because it's so gorgeous. I love it. Oh, she's gonna get a, hopefully she's gonna get a little photo with the baby. Oh, how beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Okay, anyway. Oh my Lord, it was beautiful. I told you guys it was gorgeous. Anyway, back to the dog crate little moment that we're gonna have here. So, I was looking at the price and they were like $350. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I can understand dropping $100, right? For the safety of your dog, if you leave, a hundred bucks, whatever. But my God, $350, that's crazy. So I was just like, okay, no. So I'm going to go on Facebook Marketplace, right? I'm going to be one of those almond moms who eats an almond a day with her vegetables and is like, oh my God, I'm so full. I can't eat any sweets. Let me go on Facebook Marketplace and see what I can buy today. So I went on Facebook Marketplace and I found one of a used digs. The woman was asking $270 for it, I think. And I think she dropped, or no, she was asking $270. 225 and then she had dropped it down to um 175 or 200 maybe 220 I don't know she dropped it down but it still wasn't enough of a drop down for me I think I had put an offer in for like 100 180 and she was because I thought okay well whatever that at least that's a deal and it was like brand new she said it was only used a couple times and her dog just didn't like it or whatever. And I thought, oh my God, that's a lot of money to spend, right? So then she countered and I came back and I'm like, no, you know, sorry. Thank you so much. So then I saw this other crate, right? And it wasn't really a crate. It's more like a piece of furniture. So it's a custom built. It's made out of pine. And the woman was asking $175. Five, I think and I got her down to 125 so my daughter went to the place yesterday to pick it up it's gorgeous by the way I'll insert a picture my daughter went to go pick it up and that bitch is heavy so we had a horrible time getting it into the house yesterday but it's gorgeous and there's enough space in there for him. And I know he's safe. And yeah, so I spent the entire day yesterday rearranging my furniture in my room. Um, and then moving it to where I wanted it to be. I still have some more rearranging I need to do um, in my room. On my, uh, one of my dressers. But that is what I did this weekend or yesterday at least so I do feel like I got a lot accomplished um and of course I vacuumed my entire place and then it came we got it inside and then of course when we were moving it like on the carpet it left like shimmy lines on the carpet so now I have to you know I can't I hate like having carpet lines in the carpet that I didn't put there with the vacuum so I'm gonna have to go re whole place which is fine which is okay just means that it's gonna be extra clean and I should be vacuuming more I only vacuum once a week and with the dogs I probably should be vacuuming like 
twice a week or I don't know some people I guess vacuum like literally every day which is crazy um but you know there are those people and then there's me and uh I do what I can and that's all you can do you do what you can so I am here at work oh god help me Jesus oh it's going to be a really busy week this week because I have um studies so I mean, it won't really pertain to you, but I'm just telling you what I'm doing for the week. Um, so yeah, so I've got studies this week. So I'm leaving work early, going to my study and then, um, and then coming back home again to my Rocky Rococo. So I hope you guys have a fabulous Monday and I feel like I'm not wearing enough mascara today. Like I feel, oh, I don't know you guys about this mascara. Anywho, have a good Monday. Blessed be. I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.